In this short video, we are going to learn how you build and host your 3GS project on GitHub pages. So, if you're using Parcel, go to the package.json file and you have to make sure you delete this line. Next, I'm going to stop the running server since I want to delete all the files in the dist folder in which we are going to generate the production files and what I mean by production files is the project files after code minification and tree shaking to include only the necessary parts of the modules we've used. So, now I'm going to run this command in order to build the project files. That done, we need to test if everything works fine and we want to do that locally first as it takes quite some time to debug on the hosting server. So I'm going to grab this index file and from within it I'll right click and hit run with live server. If you don't know what this is, it's a VS Code extension that runs a local server that gives you the same experience as running your project on a real hosting server. The project doesn't work, so opening the console you see that we have a handful of errors that are most of the time related to wrong URLs, which is exactly the case right here. To fix these, I'm just going to open the minified index file and fix the URL leading to the JS and CSS files. The next thing I'm about to do is host the files on GitHub pages. So the first step is create a new repository. Next I need to upload the project files and I'll do that from the browser by clicking on this link. Then drag and drop the files and wait until they are all uploaded. That done, I'll press the commit changes button and wait a little bit. Now we need to go to settings, the pages section, then select the main as the branch. Hit save and that's it. Now in the address bar of your browser, type your github username dot github dot io slash the name of the repository. We stumble upon a 404 page because it takes a couple minutes before you can get your project up and running. And there we go. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.